All right, well, here at New Day, there is always something to celebrate, especially when food is involved. So when we heard about the International District Year of the Tiger Food Walk this past weekend, we didn't want to miss it, which is perfect timing with it being AAPI Heritage Month. So our New Day editor, Gloria Angelin, captured the festivities for us. International District, we have a big food party happening here and lots of cultural festivities and entertainment. This doesn't get any better. So today is a CID BIA Year of the Tiger celebration. So it's really exciting to be in the neighborhood to host a community event and a street festival for all to enjoy. This event, uh, along with some of our other events, such as the night market, happen every year. Uh, and we are really proud to produce um, them locally here. And, and they are just a really good opportunity to showcase um, everything that's happening in the CID. The purpose of the event really is to activate the neighborhood and really make sure that community members have a good chance to enjoy the performances, all the food, and support the local businesses in the CID. So I think it's really important to support just the neighborhood economic growth and it's a really good opportunity to just enjoy and have a really good time. We have a whole host of uh, different cultural dance performances, ranging from uh, Chinese cultural performances to Filipino um, dance groups. And so we really just want to showcase and highlight all the different cultures that are within the CID neighborhood and how dynamic it is, just to be able to represent all the different cultures that exist, such as lion and dragon dances from some of the martial art teams in the neighborhood, including the Northwest Wushu, including the Mach 5 dance group. And so there's just plenty to see. There's taiko drumming and just really exciting interactive performances. So the event is really exciting because we have over 20, 30 vendors that will be here with us today, ranging from food vendors, food trucks, to different information booths, arts and craft. And so it's, uh, we're really excited to see just a bunch of local artists and, and food vendors come out here today, lining up King Street. And we also have a food walk where people can grab a menu from our information booths, head on over to the 38 plus businesses that we have participating, and then collect stamps and enter to win a cool prize. It'll be just compiled uh, from different neighborhood uh, businesses. So the month of May is Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. And so we're really excited to be a part of the neighborhood and help highlight all the really amazing cultures that exist. And it's just a really um, great moment for, for us to be here. So I'm really looking forward to try out some dumplings. There are really good seasonal drinks that some businesses are offering, combinations of pastries and pop-ups. There's really good poke. So these are just some of the things that I'm really looking forward to. And then one last one, uh, you can't miss out on all the really good bubble tea. And of course, I have to get bubble tea for myself. Uh, they're doing lion dancing right there, but we're just gonna be here and eat. This is my foodie friends, Marisol Morales and Sabrina Chin. Uh, I got this Vietnamese pandan waffle with black sesame. What did you get here? I got the spicy fried tofu. Wow, I'm already hungry. So this one is grilled squid, and Sabrina got the fried squid. I know it's a lot of squid, so don't judge. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. Maybe not for the squid, but for all the rest of that. Gloria, thank you so much for that story.